Hi, my name is Steve Johnson. I'm with the International Association of Law Enforcement Firearm Instructors, and I'm here at the Team One Network Training Conference, and I want to talk to you just a moment about involuntary contraction and those issues that cause involuntary contraction. As a firearm instructor, we're all familiar with the basic safety rules of firearms training, keeping the muzzle pointed in a safe direction, keeping uh, treating all weapons if they were loaded, keeping the finger off the trigger until you have a legal right to fire your own target and you're going to fire, and knowing your target, what's around and what's beyond it. We want to talk about the issues of, of placement of the finger along the frame of the weapon. We, we've often been told, of, don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to fire, but along with that, we want to make sure that you understand that it's not simply good enough to have the finger outside of the trigger guard and off the trigger guard, but the finger needs to be up on the frame. For instance, if you'll notice the weapon is cleared, we're going to place our finger up along the frame of the weapon. That way, in the event of any issues that cause involuntary contraction, uh, there's no way that we can get to the, to the trigger at all. Uh, if someone has shorter fingers and they're merely outside of the, the trigger guard, uh, in the event of involuntary contraction, they could actually hit the trigger and cause that negligent discharge of the firearm. Now let's talk just a moment about what causes involuntary contraction. There are three things that cause uh, someone to clench uh, their hand, close their fist, tighten up their hand uh, involuntarily because of that muscle stimulus. And, and those three things are loss of balance first. Uh, the second one is a startle effect, and the third one is sympathetic grip. So let's take uh, loss of balance. You're running, you trip, your hand is uh, on the gun, the weapon is out for whatever reason, your finger's near that trigger, and as you start to fall, you're going to clutch involuntarily. The weapon's going to discharge. The second is a startle effect. You're covering someone. You have a, a shotgun positioned on someone, you have your handgun out, and suddenly there's a loud noise behind you, a door slamming. Uh, a car backfiring or anything like that. Fingers on the trigger, you jump or clutch as you would in a, in a horror movie in the theater and you see people just gasp of air when they do that. Uh, that's the second thing. And finally, the third thing is a sympathetic grip. A sympathetic grip is, is caused by using one hand and having that firearm in the other. For instance, opening a door or grabbing a suspect. And if the finger is on the trigger at any time and you grab the suspect and you exert, uh, that gun hand is going to react with about 20% of the energy used in the, the, the opposite hand. So if I'm grabbing a suspect and, and pulling at an 80 or 90 pounds of, of resistance, then that means that 20% is going to be that 16, 18, 20 pounds of clutching effort, which is going to cause the gun to fire.